Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> Hi guys. Um, anyways, today is Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, I'm vlogging late tonight. I'm just guess I'm gonna continue vlogging. You guys are gonna see me without makeup like so much, but my skin is just, I don't know what the hell's going on. Like it clears up and then it starts breaking out again. So I need to, <laughs> I need to stay on my skin routine. Anyways, um, I had a pretty productive day. I feel like I was able to talk to my new manager for work. I have to meet her tomorrow. I went to the gym, did some grocery shopping, cooked for Bay. I need to print out some stuff and get prepped up for tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be a long day. I feel like even though since I've got here and right now like I'm not working, like I've been so busy every day, like I haven't had a break and then at night I just haven't been getting that much of good sleep so that sucks but anyways I just made some empanadas for him this is my second time cooking this thing like by myself I think or it might be my first time cooking this like I've made this for him before oh no wait, this is my second time I made this for him before like I guess this is this is like Talia's favorite dish and um what's it called brain fart anyways it's his favorite dish and so you gotta learn how to cook bays you know favorite dish so I made it one time before and I don't remember exactly what I put in it but I feel like there's a seasoning it's called boil some I don't remember what it's called Latin people you probably know what's up or what it's called but I think I put it in there last time for the meat and I didn't put it in this time for the meat so I don't know anyways it's my second time me making this so don't judge me if you guys are expertise on empanadas, it's my second time. I plan on perfecting this and, you know, I promise you, in the, in the near future, this will be perfected. Like, I will have, like, a good recipe, like, straight down packed. It's just basically, I mixed in, um, like, chorizo with ground turkey and the chorizo just for spice and some flavor with ground turkey and I just put hella seasoning on the ground turkey. Um, and I just put cheese in there and that's pretty much it. Just kept it kind of simple. Not anything too crazy. But, let me tell you something. I was sweating like a motherfucking dog. I was sweating like a dog. Because you're frying food and, you know, I shouldn't even be eating fried food. Like, you guys are probably going to say, like, don't be eating fried food. Don't eat fried food if you're breaking out. No, trust me. We haven't been eating fried food. This is the first time I made this this week, so that's not what's breaking me out. But I'm just gonna cover this up and then I'll reheat it back up when I had two of these when you know he gets home because he's working late tonight. So uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Um long hallways, long hallways. Um update. Uh those mouse traps do not work. So update the mouse traps, um they didn't work, no. So, you know, little um, Henry, I forgot one of my subscribers na <laughs> named the mouse Henry. Little Henry is, um, which is funny, that's my brother's name, is uh, around here somewhere. So we ended up getting new uh, mouse traps, and uh, Talia's going to go ahead and uh, set it up today when he gets home tonight because um, I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? I want to go buy it. You can set it up. It's just not my thing. And it's funny because, it, like, okay, let me, let's be honest with, let's, let's have an honest moment here. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not completely, like, terrified. It's not my biggest fear. Like, you know, the fact that there's a mouse in here. Because it's a freaking mouse. It's hella tiny. Like, what the fuck is it going to do to me? But it scares me to a sense because I haven't had to deal with them. So... You know, it's new. But then at the same time, I'm like, you know, it's common in New York. I've seen rats in New York, like, seriously numerous times. So a mouse does not scare me. Like, if it was a rat, oh my god, oh my god, I would not even be in this house. I would not be in this house. But the fact that it's a mouse, just one little mouse, you know, we just have to, you know, make it go to heaven because... 
you are not welcome here, friend. You are not welcome. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just watching some YouTube videos now, relaxing, and i uh, got to get some work done. And, yeah. Oh, I got my toes done today, too. I needed a pedicure really bad. I finally found, and I got my eyebrows done. I found a lady that um, did my brows very well and my toes very well. And I typically never let anybody touch my brows, but I feel that I have already formed the shape. So it was just to kind of clean it up on the top and the bottom. Like, you can't mess that up. Like, if you mess that up, girl, no, we got problems. But I'm like, you can't mess that up. Plus, we talked about it thoroughly before, you know, I was like, I'm really picky. I haven't had my eyebrow waxed in like years so I think it's gonna look really nice when I go ahead and draw them in but um yeah I'm gonna keep vlogging I guess you guys like it I don't know I feel like my vlogs are so boring and you guys are like entertained by it so I mean that's a good thing but um tomorrow I plan on do I have time tomorrow I plan on filming I really need to film a beauty video it's just I have really like no legit setup here Maybe I'll do it here, actually. Like, right here. Because, I mean, it's whatevs. Um, yeah, I have no legit setup right now. Which is really killing me. But we'll get it sooner than later. It's just going to take some time to really get settled in this apartment. There's just a lot to do here. Uh, so, yeah. I will see you guys in the next clip. I'm not even going to see you, like, say I'll see you guys in a little bit. Because it's just cut, clip, you know. Mm -hmm, right there. Okay. I'll get back. See you guys. This is going to be a mouse update. So, the mouse was on the sink and it hid inside the stove. So, I moved the mouse trap onto the sink because it's right by the stove. And I just went back there to get some shoes and it appears. So it's going right by the mouse trap. I'm going to see if I can get the mouse moving. But now that it's like active, like holy fucking shit. Oh my god. I don't even want to get out of my bed right now. <laughs> when... Oh my god, you guys, I'm so terrified. Oh my god, okay. Fuck, that shit. No, that means I think there's more than one then. Fuck. I have to call T. I have to hit up T. Oh shit. So, what did you do? <laughs> Hey guys, what's up, dude? I haven't vlogged in like a few days. Um, the last thing that I vlogged, I believe, was the um, Stuart Little incident. I have the name Stuart Little just because, I don't know, just decided to call it Stuart Little. Maybe Henry Stuart Little because one of my subscribers called the mouse Henry. So Henry Stuart Little. Yeah. Anyways, update on that little heifer. Oh my god, by the way, just an FYI, um, filming in the city, like, in the heart of the city is the hardest thing of life. Like, any vlogger that films in New York, girl, my heart goes out to you tenfold because it is so hard filming, like, having peace, like, getting interrupted, I swear, every freaking 60 seconds, it's ridiculous. But yeah. Um, so I ended up filming a, uh, Top 10, 15, top 15 drugstore holy grail products. And uh, that's what I filmed earlier today. Um, and then I'm going to film again. I have midi on my lips. I'm just so obsessed with this freaking color. It's like perfect. I've been looking for this exact shade forever, girl. But I really want to try bow and arrow from Kat Von D. When that goes to stock, oh my god. Bow and arrow, I am coming for you like you have nobody's that it makes sense bow and arrow I'm coming for you like nobody's business girl 
You are about to be mine. Mmm. I need bow and arrow in my life. Like, I've been so determined in getting that freaking liquid lipstick. Literally, I swear, like, every two days. I'm always, like, looking up in my area code if it's <laughs> anywhere. And it's never, it's, like, sold out in every store. I just, I need to give up. But I heard that it's coming back for the end of the month. So, anyways. Um, so, I just pretty much got back. I ended up going to the Mac store for two back to max if you guys don't know um about the recycling program i'm gonna go ahead and give you the faux one one basically with mac if you ugh, sweat stash on fleek <laughs> basically with mac they have a recycling program if you save six containers which is plastic aluminum or glass that means it's not wood okay you can't like recycle a wooden pencil or wooden lip pencil um what else I think that's pretty much it. But um, any any of those sorts, if you save six containers, you can get at a Mac store or a pro store, you can get an eyeshadow, a lip gloss, or a lipstick for free. Hooked up. Holla. Yeah, for free. If you go to a Macy's or a Nordstrom's or any of those partnered stores, you can only pick out a lipstick. From what I'm aware of. I don't know if they changed it, but from what I'm aware, you can only pick out a lipstick. So just giving you a heads up. If you have any MAC products, do not throw them away. Recycle them, girl. I'm just saying I told you now, okay? If you didn't know, now you know. Um, but I did want to talk to you guys about my MAC experience. We are about to have a real moment. And I'm going to move because um, the shadow was... There you go. Okay. Oh, and FYI, by the way, too... Um, when you've been seeing these past clips the house was a complete disaster and i can't really tell you too much information about that but pretty much everything that was in here is pretty much been completely cleared out so we just have like boxes in there um that's where my beauty room is going to be i know it looks like a hot mess but we're going to go ahead and paint the walls which i'm really excited about and buy the furniture which i'm really excited about like everything is pretty much cleared out so it's not going to be a hot mess anymore and uh, for right now, because T is just working his ass off, um, I have to wait to go to Ikea, which is not going to happen anytime soon. So maybe within a month, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be done before a month is over. Um, because I need to make sure that I have all, all the stuff up. But um, I will be working soon, so I'm going to try to really post out. Uh, post out. I'm going to try to really film a lot of videos for you guys so I don't leave you guys behind. So that's been pretty much an update of what's been going on. Um, a lot of the stuff is out of this apartment and you have no idea uh, how relieved that makes me feel because now I can kind of get into the nitty gritty of things and start decorating and start putting stuff together. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So that's what's been going on. Anyways, uh, girl, why did I change the subject? Rude. Um, about my Mac experience. <sighs> I want to be real with you guys, you know what I mean? Because today was just one of those days, I feel like. Um, you know, I worked at a Mac store um, for a very long time. I'm still really good friends with a lot of the girls that work there or have worked there in the past. See what I'm talking about? You see what I am talking about? Anyways, rude cop. Hello, I'm talking to my peoples. Um, no, but to be real with you guys, um, I went to a Mac store today. I won't, I'm not going to say the location of what I went to. It was just the closest one to me. And I pretty much got the experience of what a lot of people talk about. Um, it was fucking horrible. Just to be 100,000 million infinity percent with you guys. Like, I was just like this isn't even that bad in cali like and cali i'm at least always greeted when i walk in the store always and when i worked at mac valley fair what's up to my valley fair girls um for the most part i know it gets really busy and people are going to complain whatever i get it people have horrible experiences it happens but like we were so on it about greeting and stuff like that and i went to the store i didn't even get greeted like so many people freaking walk past me not one fucking person greeted me, which made me so, like, irritated because when you're in the customer service field for such a long time, like, you expect to have good, solid customer service. I had to go all the way up to the freaking cash register at the end of the store to get help. 
you know um, and just imagine like what if I wanted to spend $500 or like hella money like hello that's a freaking huge ass sale no one greeted me no one said hi no one fucking smiled the only person who smiled was the manager at that store okay she was the only pleasant one which I didn't know at the time was manager so I was like oh yeah you gonna try to play me like that boo boos uh uh I was just like this is ridiculous so I walked at the cash register did my little back to max you know because I was gonna buy some stuff and then I was like no I'll go to another max store okay I'm gonna go to another max store where hopefully I'll get better service um I did my back to max there and the girl at the register she was you know didn't have the best customer service she was all right I was just kind of shocked and I was like you know what I want to speak to the manager oh yeah I went there so she was actually walking up and she's so gorgeous absolutely beautiful and she's like hi like I'm the manager she's like I would love to speak with you if it's okay with you I'm gonna go to help, go help finishing um I'm gonna go finish up with my customer and then when you know when you're done with your transaction just go ahead and head over there and I'll go ahead and talk to you like amazing customer service super sweet and I was like, what a coinkity, the one freaking woman in the store that's just like pleasant, smiling, has a very, very open body language, was the freaking manager. So she finished with the customer, pulled her aside, and I was like, you know what? I just want to go ahead and give you some feedback if that's okay with you. And she's like, totally fine. And I was like, okay, I just want to let you know because I used to work at Mac, you know? And we have the stigma of a certain type of characteristics that, you know, they're labeled for. She's like, I totally understand. Um, no, that thing popped up. But anyways, um, you know, I let her know, like, hey, I just want to let you know, Mac girls have a certain type of stigma. People look at them a certain way. And I just want to let you know, I walked in the store. Not once was I greeted. I had to walk all the way to register and get help. And no one even smiled at me. Like, no one smiled at me. No one said hello. No one tried to help me. Like, I just want to let you know that, you know, as a customer looking in here for the people that you know did never worked at Mac like with me I'm like whatever I just I can get what I want hi bye like I straight up told her I was like I don't have a problem with it I can go to the register and say what I want and hi bye it is what it is but for the people that actually want to come here and learn or want to get help it's very intimidating to come in the store and no one is willing to help or no one wants to help first of all when you work at a freaking Mac store you have a quota to meet okay being real I'm being real with you don't you think you need to hit that quota by giving customer service? Just saying. I'm just saying. Like, you know what I mean? And it's the one thing, like, it's always like there's always some people that, you know, don't want to help or have, like, shitty attitudes. But then it was, like, the whole store. And there was a lot of employees working. And I was there at prime time, girlfriend. I was there, like, what, five-ish? Six o'clock? So I was so disappointed. And, it, and I hate, I hate talking about this because I've seen you know YouTube videos about people bashing Mac artists or you know what I mean they think they're the shit they look like drag queens they have horrible customer service they're hella stuck up blah 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 I've seen all that and I hate watching those videos because I'm like no like there's some of us that are out there that like we're like you know really chill and we we love to talk to people we love our jobs we're really passionate about what we do and I was just so disappointed that I went to that store and I'm like wow this is what every or not every girl but this is what a lot of girls experience like it was shocking to me I was just like holy caca you know what I mean and I had makeup on you know I was wearing this so it wasn't like I was looking bummy or whatever because I get it if you look bummy and you know what I mean like I get it like you know what I mean but I was shocked anyways I just wanted to tell you guys that because I'm being truthful with you you know that was just my Mac experience today I was so disappointed so I'm hoping to go to another store and get more pleasant experiences because I know that there's a lot of dope artists out there that are super nice super friendly and it was just like wow really girl really really so yeah that's pretty much it so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and um film two more videos and get that out the way, and I will see you guys right now. Bye-bye. Giving you guys a little bit of an update. I'm here filming against this wall because this is going to be my um, 
current background until I get my beauty room set up. That whole room is pretty much clear now, which is awesome. So now I just need to go to Ikea and buy the furniture and set this bad baby up. I have to actually paint the walls because the walls in that room are pink. And we all know in my last room, the walls were pink there and I hated it. Like I hated it. I just want everything to be white and very just clean and beautiful in there so i'm super excited to get started on that the only thing is that now i have to wait for t to have a day off which he's working like crazy this month in order to go to ikea and buy my stuff so that's going to take a long time because i can't go there and lift that stuff by myself i'm going to need him to help me out so um yeah that's pretty much it if you guys want an update on mr L uh, stewart little <laughs> um i haven't seen little guy in a long time I'm just gonna tell you the honest truth. Where we've tried literally two different types of mouse traps and they haven't worked. So I tried the basic old school mouse trap, didn't work for Gaga. Um, I tried this other mouse trap where you actually put the bait inside and it gets stuck in there. That didn't work for Gaga. So now we're to, we're gonna do the stickies. So the stickies like for sure are gonna work because they get stuck to the stick pad. I know it's like literally gross to listen to, but they get stuck to the sticky pad and I guess they pass away like that. Oh, it grosses me out just thinking about it. So T's actually gonna go ahead and set that up tonight. Um, I just filmed two videos. One's a beauty haul and one is my top 15 drugstore products. You have no idea how hard that is. It was supposed to be 10, and then it just went to 15. I could have literally probably done 20, but that would have been way too long of a video to do, because uh, that video is probably going to be way too long enough as it is. And yeah, that's pretty much the update. I definitely will let you guys know when we catch Stuart Little, because um, we, we're going to get him, her, him. And uh, unless he like disappeared and like went to another place wanted to go visit his other friend and just leave me neglected here by myself i don't appreciate that steward okay so that's pretty much it i'm not gonna show you guys like when i catch him i think that would be so disgusting so but i will give you guys an update when Stuart little has been caught you are going to jail Stuart little by the way if you guys want to know what's on my lips this is midi from ColourPop. it's literally like perfection um so i'm trying these out and i know i promised you guys a color pop video which i promise you guys I, i'm still gonna do but i did order a few more colors so i kind of want to do that all in all and on top of that i've been testing these things i do have somewhat an opinion i'm not gonna tell you guys right now i'll just wait until i do the video for it so you guys can like you know get my opinion on how i feel about these you know what i'm saying but let me tell you something i'm not gonna tell you what everybody else is telling you that's all i'm gonna say about that so um testing different colors out because I know sometimes when you try different colors, a certain formula will be different than the other. So, so far I'm obsessed with this. As far as longevity and formulas, not too sure about it yet. But I will have a full review soon, I promise. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just checking in with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this vlog off and still keep you guys updated. And um, I think I may be having some news I'm still in the process of figuring this out soon but I will let you know once I update you guys on some stuff that is going on in my life so um yeah that's pretty much it I don't have anything else to say I freaking love you guys please make sure to give you a <laughs> please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below you guys know i love talking to you guys if you're new to my channel what's up girl or boy welcome and click that subscribe button down below and i will see you guys until next time bye